Hello everyone, this is Nathan from Zencash, also known as Stoic Nate on the Community Discord. Tune in prompt to video here about domain name registration for our secure nodes. I'll be using the service namecheap.com. Uh, there are many others. This one just seems pretty popular and um, I use it myself. The community seems to like it. So I'm going to be searching Zen Tests and see what domains are available in this example. I don't want to pay a lot of money. I want to ideally keep costs as low as possible. I like the zentest.win. I'll go with that. Add that to my cart. View cart. From there, you want to set the number of years you want to retain the name. Auto renewal is a good feature. You'll always pay an ICANN fee no matter where you go. They have a who is guard feature, uh, free for first year. Looks like they charge you uh, thereafter. Um, attempts to hide your private information from public record uh, that gets associated with the domain name. It's nice, nice to have feature, not needed necessarily. So from there you could just confirm your order, go through the checkout process like everything else, um, submit your payment, you'll get an email confirming your order, and once you get access uh, you'll be able to go to your account dashboard, go to your domain name, here I'll use mine, and Veritas. Here I'll go to the Advanced DNS tab. From here what we want to do is create a record. Now the record refers to the type of IP address uh, of your server that you're forming a record for. So an A record type is for IPv4 addresses and a 4A record is for IPv6 addresses. We'll choose an A record for this example. We had used, what was it, Zen Test as the example. Um, so we'll pick a host name for that. A host name, um, you should think about something that you can say increment later in the future if you wanted to add more secure nodes to the network. Uh, so I'll say for that example zsec01 for the first node. And then I would punch in the IP address my provider, my VPS provider would have given me, or whatever it is for my server. Say 123.123.123.123. Now that IP address will be associated with your host name here. And when you go to submit that you can select automatic it'll just take any given amount of time not sure exactly how long uh, minutes or hours uh, it's for uh, time to live I believe that's how quickly they attempt to push it out um, to propagate to other domain name servers so uh, doesn't really matter. You can choose five minutes. I've always chosen automatic and have been, uh, pretty good luck with that. Uh, you'd hit save changes. Now the way this will work here is we're building what's called a fully qualified domain name and that record here is going to be associated with your node through its IP address and if you were to ping um, an address that wants to go back to your node, you need a, a registered domain name to do that. Uh, so for that example, right, if I wanted to ping our server here that we've made a record for, I'd uh, ping zsec01.zentest.win, and that would be the fully qualified domain name. And if that's been valid, and propagated, I should be able to ping and get a response. Um, so I'll show you kind of what that looks like for one that's been done, uh, that's already been set up. 
using one of my own. So I have a record here of znode 1-1 and an IP address for my, my node there. So I'm going to go and use a service called What's My DNS. And you want to select your type of record here again, A for IPv4, 4A for IPv6. Then you want to punch in your fully qualified domain name. And again, uh, that is your host name, then your domain name. So for my own node, it was znode. 1-1.zenveritas.com In the example it would have been zsec01.zentest.win Let your record again, then you would click search and it's just going to go out and see what servers already uh, recognize the domain. And This is called propagation. Someone over in Russia didn't like me fine. As long as I have the, the vast majority of the network here, I should be good. And this is important when we go to issue the certificates, which we need to uh, create encrypted traffic between nodes and uh, clients, like uh, either light wallets or full node wallets. We want a secure connection uh, to the node, so we want to try to mask any type of uh, uh, data. So uh, governments and uh, corporations can't identify uh, the type of network traffic that we're using. It'll just appear as regular web traffic, the idea. Um, so that's about it for now. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, you can reach out to me. I'm on the Discord uh, fairly often. Uh, the username is StoicNate, spelled with a 1. Thank you very much. Have a great day.